So pomegranates, we love them, and by we I mean me, and hopefully you guys out there too, but it's so hard to get the seeds out, right? Well today I'm gonna to show you a super easy way to get the seeds out of a pomegranate and a nice recipe too. Stay tuned for that. So first of all, with pomegranates, getting the seeds out, how do you do it? This is my method. You cut the pomegranate in half, and look at all this. This is what gets all over your kitchen. Literally, this is all over my kitchen right now. So I wanna avoid this. So we cut up the pomegranate, and then you fill up a huge bowl, drop the pomegranates in, oop, just like that. And then you wanna separate it out, and you're doing this all under water, so you're not gonna get that juice all over your hands, all over your kitchen, hopefully. And all you do is just press the seeds out with your thumb from the membrane, and just get them all out like that, see? It's so fun, kids love doing this, and it's quite therapeutic, may I say, too. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep getting the seeds out here. So now that we've removed all the seeds from the pomegranate, from the membrane here, you're gonna take a little strainer like this, and you're gonna take all of this stuff and throw this out, and then see the seeds are down at the bottom. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get them out. So now you have a colander, you've got your bowl of water here. All you do is you pour your water, and there are all your seeds. So now that we have our wonderful pomegranate seeds here, here is a fabulous recipe if I do say so myself, and I do, because this is the one recipe my mom makes me bring to every holiday. Christmas, Thanksgiving, Flag Day, whatever holiday it is, she makes me bring this because it's so good. So all you do, take the seeds, put them in a bowl, little feta cheese, so a little saltiness with the sweetness of the seeds. Then I take some pumpkin seeds, toast them off so it gets nice and salty. You add those in there, just like that. You mix it all together like this. And then I put a little olive oil just to kind of bind everything together, just like that. And you can put it in the fridge for, you know, an hour just to let it kind of uh, bind up. Put it in a nice little bowl like this. Oops, Daisy. And serve it with some yummy chips. And there you go. There is your pomegranate recipe. Three ingredients, there you go. For that recipe and all the tips and tricks we showed you today, they're at CaliforniaBountiful.com. Check it out.